broken window regulator the thing is about these things there's about 10 ways they can break and once you feel that it broke very important thing to do is not to try to roll it up and down or even accidentally if you do that you're gonna uh, basically wind the cable around the gear uh, that can potentially damage the gear and completely destroy your regulator to the point that you won't even able to fix it. So I was hoping, I don't know what the problem is here, but I'm hoping I can take it apart and maybe use some zip tie to fix it. Uh, honestly, chances of fixing it with a zip tie are pretty low. I know there are a lot of videos about it but uh, this is probably very rare that you can fix it with it so let's take it apart I'm not gonna show how you take the door apart basically I'll just uh, walk you through real quick uh, but without details because if you do replace window regulator you better know how to replace uh, take the door panel off so basically you take the trim off there are screws over here you take this thing out there are screw over there uh, there is a screw over there and that's what you do it's good to have one of this it's just quicker with this thing we definitely have to have uh, this t20 BMW likes this type of screws also if you happen to drop one of the bolts in there don't leave it there what will happen is that when you play music the speakers will vibrate I know you're gonna hear you're gonna you're gonna hear this crap as if the speaker is bad so make sure you take them out secure the window with some kind of uh, tape just so that it doesn't drop down when we take everything else like this I think that's good enough blood a piece like this this one is from romaine lettuce or something some kind of cable you're gonna support the airbag once you take it away from here so it's good to tie it because it's uh, you don't want to I don't want to mess with disconnecting it I don't know I have a fear about these things exploding and having a punch of a Mike Tyson with a vapor barrier take it apart slowly if you break it too much your window will get fogged and uh, that will be ugly take the water out use T30 for that rehang it here the remain lettuce cable works just great unbelievable awesome household thing so just taking this out and uh, you gotta disconnect it here so this is what I'm talking about if you let your window regulator work while it's broken this gear will wrap around the cable and it will be damaged Regulator. As you see, it's secured by several bolts. And there is more right there. So we're gonna see what's up, what's going on with it. Take it out and try to repair it. Hope it's repairable. Might want to lower the window at some point. Over here you can see how it connects to the window there are brackets and there is a bolt over there you can see this right now but there is a bolt basically this is how it connects now you see this gap right there this is where you unscrew the bolts if you lower it more up you gotta see the bolt basically I'm gonna lower it 
and I'm gonna unscrew the bolts. Here they are. This one and that one. These bolts are 8 millimeter, so I'm using this kind of extension. In this case, take them out. So you basically unscrew them and uh, push on that pin. I already see the problem. This right there, not supposed to go that way. It's just the cable broke, so I think it's fixable. So the window is back secured by the, with the tape and take out the regulator and see how we can repair it. But you basically unscrew all these bolts that I showed you before and you just push it. Push it. You see? Just push it this way. This one you just push that way. And the whole thing comes out through this hole obviously. It's, it's tight but you gotta work it out. Be patient, don't, don't pull much also there are some clips that hold these things in place behind when you reinstall it make sure you put it back in them yeah, they're like uh, I don't know I can't show you but yeah I don't know maybe you'll see yeah, right if you will see right there you see this this is what you gotta click it back on okay so the problem is very evident here Basically, this moves with the window. It's propelled by the cable with these things. These things don't catch in here or get through it like it broke right here. It won't catch. That's the problem. So, we're gonna try to zip tie it cable started to split over here what we're gonna do we're gonna use some soldering iron and uh, gonna put some soldering here to keep the cable together this will allow the cable to not catch because it's not that it's split the problem is that it's catching. Once it starts catching, it's gonna split more, more, and break. That's the problem. So we put some solder here, uh, let it flow freely, and that should uh, fix the problem. Here, like that, to keep that pin in there. Hopefully that'll be enough. And uh, this is the side where I had to put some solder. This side seems to be bad, but not as bad. It probably will break on this end as well eventually. Let's see how it works. Put it back in place. On this line. If you, when you're trying to put this back in, try to first kind of like a put it against the door so that you see how it actually uh, supposed to be there before you start putting it in because you might be doing some unnecessary motions movement that is just not necessary to do because uh, you don't know how it fits you start putting it in different ways sideways and just doesn't fit so basically you put this first so that it aligns all this and then you put this side in the pins line up into the gap right there and right there and secure the glass. Water, it kind of installs this way and then that way. Okay, don't forget to plug it in. All right, so technically, technically, we can test the, the window now and hope it works. I don't know, 
I really don't hope it's gonna work but if it does work one day two days three days it's not a permanent fix again it's a t temporary fix that's just gonna extend the life of this window regulator and save you $180 from purchasing a new one of course you can get the aftermarket one for 40 bucks but again what I read about them that they break soon about a month uh, six months later so let's see how this works this Hmm. It's like it's working. Works a little weird, but look probably because that pin is sliding between the zip ties. That's I guess as best that you can get it working. But uh, I will be careful with it. I'll be just driving. I need to open a window. I'll just roll it a little bit, enjoy the weather, and low close it. Be gentle with it and don't let it too tight.